All right, guys, I'm back with another one of Charlotte Strawberry Jailhouse Call with her dirty, dusty, criminal husband. I I know some of y'all are saying y'all don't feel sorry for her, but I feel sorry for her because you can't, it, like, if she, Shirley, was like 19 or 18, I would be like, well, girl, she's young. She don't got no sense. But you can't tell me you is 70 years old, Shirley, almost 70, and you this stupid. But ladies, this is why it is so important for you to get wisdom. The Bible says, with all you're getting, get understanding, get wisdom. She done chose a whole career criminal as a husband, messing up her good name. Shirley is the naked wife, y'all. Oh, child. Anyways, be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. Remember, pre-order the Prayer in the Seven Spirits of the Lord upon your children from back to school on my blog, on my Jan Sultan Mentoring. All right, a shout out to Jailhouse Calls again. I left a message for her to give me her cash app so I can cash app her. These videos are on her channel, so I want to be able to uh, uh, cash app her uh sewing her uh so if you want to listen to all the videos go over there but then come on back over here and hear what i got to say and i'm trying very hard not to talk through the videos i sped it up a little bit but if there's something i need to say i'll just i'll just say it and i feel so accomplished today guys let me tell you what i've done i woke up early i i separated clothes for my husband to take uh to the laundry because we do have laundry service they pick up or we drop off um i have my dish uh, towels in the wash i loaded i loaded and unloaded the dishwasher and i'm gonna start braiding my hair oh my god i feel so accomplished today yeah <laughs> all right guys let me know what you think about this foolishness child all right this video has a big update about shirley strawberry and her husband ernest williams aka ernesto aka nesto Buckle up. I've got the jailhouse phone calls going all the way back to March of this year, and it looks like there might be trouble in paradise between Shirley and her husband. Stay tuned. The calls between Shirley and Ernesto are in this video. For those of you who might not know who Shirley is, well, you might know Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey is a versatile entertainer, comedian, actor, author, and prominent figure in both television and radio. He initially rose to prominence through his sharp observational comedy and later became renowned for his insightful self-help guidance, particularly in the realm of relationships. You may know him from The Family Feud or The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Shirley Strawberry has been in the broadcast biz for almost 40 years herself and is currently a co-host on the steve harvey morning show her and steve have worked together for the last all right y'all i'm gonna speed this up a little bit because i don't want to have any problems it's at one and a half 1.2 if i'm gonna make it one and a half because i don't want to have any problems from youtube so i sped it up a little bit 20 years and on the show they have a segment called the strawberry letter where viewers write in for relationship advice from steve and shirley shirley supposedly met her current husband through steve harvey they got engaged on the show with steve's help and steve even walked shirley down the aisle ernesto is shirley's second husband Here's the situation. Shirley Strawberry's husband, Ernesto Williams, is facing some pretty serious charges, some of which include children. As you can see, this guy has a pretty long rap sheet. He and a co-conspirator, Erica King. Children. Includes children. Huh. Children. This woman moved a man in her house that was allegedly hurting her daughter. And allegedly knew about it. Shirley's trash. I'm sorry. You trash Shirley for that. Were arrested for a million dollar fraud scheme. They allegedly would make promises to victims, saying they would grow their brands, but in the end, did nothing. Rumor has it that Ernesto even moved Erica King in next door to him in Shirley's residence. He supposedly told Shirley that Erica was just a business partner. What inevitably got them investigated by police was failure to pay months of rent at this new residence. His most current arrest happened in July of 2022 for charges that involve children, and he is currently in jail in Georgia and has been there for. So you had this woman that was so involved in your life at the house talk about business partner? What kind of business partner, Shirley? I'm just trying to figure out what kind of business partner. Over a year without bond. Before he was arrested, the prosecutor in this case also tapped Ernesto's cell phone and allegedly heard him talking with Shirley about leaving the country to live in one of Steve Harvey's homes located in Abu Dhabi. Ernesto is a businessman who owned an upscale barbershop and a security company in Atlanta. The barbershop was on Peachtree Road and was called Nesto's. According to Yelp reviewers, services started at a minimum of $50 and went up from there. I also read that after a customer received a shampoo, the employees would line up and do a little dance. Needless to say, the location is now closed. I'm not exactly sure when it opened, but I see Nesto's barbershop dates back to 2015. The security company was opened in 2021 and it dissolved in 2022. Now that everyone's up to speed, let's get to the goods. The first call is from March 7th and is between Shirley Strawberry and her husband, Ernesto. Hello, this is a free call from Nesto. 
This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. Hello. I don't know. Hold on. I'm good. Hold on. So she knew yeah, the hi, calls how were being recorded. I'm good. I'm good. So I just had uh, five minutes on a free phone call. So I just, oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, let's okay. go. I right, go to court Thursday. So uh, say a prayer for me. And uh, Lord just came to me. So uh, just going to wait for Thursday. So I'm go in. So I Y'all doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. We're doing fine. Okay. Yeah. Right. How are you feeling? Uh, I'll just leave it in God's hand and let him do what he do. That's okay. Right. But you know, I, I always say a prayer for you. You do know that, right? I do know that. You have some strong prayers, too. So strong. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad they're working. Yeah, they're working. They're working. Yeah. They're working. That's good. Just okay. Just and focused, though. So. I just want to let you know that. I want you to love you very much. And uh, very happy that uh, you got some coverage. I get down. Yeah, um, Dan came and got the truck. Yeah, you told, you told me. Oh, he did? Okay. No, uh, you told me. You told me. No, I told him he was going to get the truck. He actually went and got it. He didn't get it the day he said he was going to get it. He got it a couple of days later because he didn't have a ride. You know, oh, he had to wait until he got a ride. Because something about his, I got his, it. um, I got yeah. I got yeah. it, I understand. So he got a ride now? Yeah, he had a ride and he got the truck. Oh, okay. Probably his girlfriend or something. Yeah, yeah. Because he mm -hmm. just about to, yeah, probably she's trying to recover after what happened to her. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't meet her, but I guess she, I mean, I, she, I didn't meet her. Oh, I understand, I understand. Yeah. I guess, I guess. I guess she was a nice girl. Okay. Well, that's that's all I want to say over the phone. Hey, not up. But he said, hey. He said, hey, how you doing? I'm huh? I'm still hanging. He said, he's good. He's hanging in there. We're good, honey. That's love good. You. She said, love you. Okay, love you too. Hey, tell her hang said, on love you too. What up, Esther? He said, hang on in there with your bestie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, well, I love all you. Right, love. I'll call you, love uh, you Thursday. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Love you too. Bye. Right. Remember, this call was made on March 7th, and everything seems to be fine between them. Just a note, the next call and the last call are the only two phone calls that were made between Ernesto and Shirley through the jail. That means in four months' time, they only talk twice, with about a month in between each call. However, Ernesto does have access to a tablet, which has messaging capabilities, and they could be communicating that way. Unfortunately, the public does not have access to those records, so I cannot bring you that data. On this call, you'll notice there's only 60 seconds to talk. This is because Ernesto's commissary account is almost empty. You'll hear him ask Shirley to add some money to his account. Around 90% of the calls Ernesto made were free promotional calls, which makes me wonder if Shirley is choosing not to load up his commissary account. This call was made on April 4th. Thank you for using Global Telling. You have 60 seconds remaining. Okay, say like 60 seconds. You have one minute remaining. So you didn't put it in there yet? Put what in there yet? You gotta put the money on the books, on the phone. No, she has to ask me. You have to talk this out. Oh, I you didn't know talk that. This out. Fairlife has 50% more protein. Wait a minute. Let me let her get her commercial. So he just be like, you didn't put the money on there yet? Girl, well, where's all the money he was stealing from the people, allegedly? <laughs> allegedly. And what, what she said, put what? She got to ask me. Who she got to ask him? Girl, that's why I'm dealing with no jailbird, child. It's just too much, honey. But, you know, I don't like criminals. Men that commit crimes for a living. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But anyways, okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Oh, wait. Sorry, you for breakfast over there. You have to ask me. You have to talk this out. Oh, I didn't know this out. Okay, okay. I didn't either. <laughs> you know, okay, okay. You have to talk this out, call back, and call back. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What are you for breakfast over there? Uh, I, I drink, I'm drinking some tea, and I ate some little, excuse me, like tea cookies, and Debbie's eating some chicken and rice. Oh, a chicken and rice this time of night? Uh, this time of morning? <laughs> you eat eggs at night. <laughs> you know what, that's true, that's true, that's true. Thank you. You sure are right. I sure <laughs> miss some pancakes, too. Thank you for using Global Telling. As of right now, this is the last time Shirley has talked to Ernesto. I have more calls coming to verify this claim, but until then, here's more calls that will help explain why she just might be finished with Ernesto. The next call is between Ernesto and one of his friends on May 16th. He informs Ernesto that old girl has called old girl in California and told her everything. I can only assume that the woman in California is Shirley Strawberry. It makes sense because Shirley has not spoken to Ernesto since April 14th. Okay, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Shit, I'm trying to make it, man. Oh, I told you, you know old girl called uh, call old girl in California and told her everything. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got that part, but I don't, I don't talk about that on, I don't talk about that. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. 
This next clip is from May 29th, and you'll hear Ernesto and a friend talk about how Shirley wants to sell the truck. I believe the truck they're talking about is either a box truck or an 18-wheeler that Ernesto owns and used for his mobile barber shop. It sounds like Ernesto isn't really cool with it, as you'll hear. Yeah, sure, man. My wife just called me today and said she wanted to sell the truck. She said, I want to sell it. She said she want to sell it. Oh, she want to sell it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. She probably got somebody out of here. But that, that's fine. I mean, I don't really get that. I'm going to put that shit going out. So. Yeah. It is what it is. I can't control nobody. I'm, I'm still sitting here. Yeah, that's my first time hearing about that. I called the people she talked about. Yes, she did say she wanted to get rid of it. She probably wanted to sell the truck because she paid for it and her money's tied up in the truck. Her money's tied up in the truck, so she probably wanted to sell it to get a couple of dollars and then he keep calling her from the jailhouse running up her phone bill. Sell the truck, Shirley. Sell it. Get your money. I said something else a couple of months. You just said it on a date. Yeah, yeah. She probably just said the kind of way nobody called a check on her, you know, and all that. Just need some money. Hi, we're visible. Wow. The wireless company so with nothing Shirley to hide. Get unlimited 5G data. Let's let her get her commercial. Can you imagine? I don't, I know y'all say y'all don't feel bad, but I do feel bad for sure. It's just at this age, she should be relaxing, enjoying her grandkids, child. And the, the mama done took the grandkids away from her. I wouldn't, I will let you see my grandbabies too either. You let some man uh, uh, assault me and you knew and didn't do nothing about it. No, you don't get to see the grandbabies, honey. Okay, you don't get to see the grandbabies. Mm, mm, mm. Shirley is shameful, girl. Shameful. But you know what, ladies? We all should learn from this foolishness because um, a lot of women are, are doing getting with these criminals. And I don't know what y'all expecting to get. Okay, we're back. I like to let people get their commercials, you know, because that's how people make their coins. This is another reason why I think Shirley might be moving. Couple of months, you just said it's on a date. Yeah, yeah. She probably just said it's the kind of way nobody called and checked on her, you know, and all that. Just need some money. Dude, that ain't going to put nothing in your pocket. <laughs> so this is another reason why I think Shirley might be moving on since she's wanting to sell Ernesto's truck. I have a funny feeling that she knew he would not be okay with it. The next call is from May 30th of this year, and you will hear Ernesto is becoming concerned that Shirley is not responding to his calls. Remember, this call you're about to hear is one day after the last call you just heard. There's a call, Shirley, and see what's going on with you now picking that phone up. I asked him to text, so something must be wrong with you. Hear me? Yeah. Okay, you good? Yeah, I'm good. You said you talked to her yesterday. I don't know why she ain't picking the phone up. Yeah, I don't know what she got going on. I thought she was outside yesterday when she called. I need to add some money on this phone. Yeah, yeah, just send me the old girl. She just set it up for you. I don't know why she be acting cheap as hell. Man, come on now. What you mean? Come on now. I sent her the money. Back. I'm like, oh, it should be weird. Okay, sir. Yeah, just check on. See what's going on. Till I've been trying to text me and text without a call. So I've been calling her yesterday. She asked someone called this now. So somebody right. She got a phone or something. So it sounds like Shirley was made aware of Ernesto's doings on around May 16th, according to the calls we just heard. She hasn't spoken to him since April 14th, all the way up to June 20th. That's a two-month hiatus. As you heard, Ernesto can't seem to figure out why Shirley isn't answering his calls. Remember, I have more calls coming from July of this year, so I will make another video update to let you guys know if she still is ghosting him. I also have calls coming from all the way back to November of 2022, so be on the lookout for those as well. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss those updates. Here's another little tidbit of information I found interesting of how Ernesto is basically bragging that an undisclosed donor paid his $800,000 bond. Although that bond never had to be paid because he's still in jail, you'll also hear that Shirley and her friend are going to put up their house as collateral for the bond. But they didn't have to do that because of the undisclosed donor. Here is the clip from that phone call. What's up, Leo? What's up, Leo? Yeah, everything good with you? Hey, man, just, just moving and grooving, trying to keep this shit from clouding up on me. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just moving to see just seeing thinking what the fuck I'm going when I get out of it. But I always get out in, in a good uh, tone. So I'm looking at April, it's going to be a pretty good month. If not, I'll be sitting this piece to get down this June. But my mindset is uh, I'm straight and I uh, surely got the place. I know it's going to be booming. I already know that. So, at least I got somewhere to go uh, when I get up out of here. I ain't got no problem dressing anything to go. Yeah, she look nice. Yeah, I, I know that. She's going to move fast. And what I didn't know is that if I did make one, I didn't have to worry about the bomb because uh, Dre, I didn't tell Shirley, but uh, Dre was going to put his property up. And, uh, Jesus. and then Lloyd came and told me that I didn't, I didn't have to worry about it because it was already uh, paid for from an uh, uh, un undisclosed donor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, but anyway, I'm, sorry, wow. I'm just chilling. That's all I can do. 
but it's going to work in my favor. It always does. Could the undisclosed donor be Steve Harvey? I mean, I'm not trying to throw shade at him, but who else does Ernesto know with that kind of cash? We know it isn't Shirley after hearing the call about how she was just going to put up her house. Of course, I'm just speculating that it could be Steve. Maybe Ernesto has a rich sugar mama that we don't know about, but I seriously doubt it. In the end, it looks and sounds like Shirley Strawberry got caught up in a big mess that Ernesto created. Since she has seemingly cut communications with him, she may have chosen to just move on. But I will definitely let you know if she hasn't, since I have to lie his calls on the way. I'm guessing Shirley would love to use a rewind button to before she even met Ernesto. But hey, haven't we all wished for a rewind at least one point in our lives? Or she could be standing by her man. Only time will tell. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. How's the chicken? I think it's terrible. Can you imagine having to put up your house for leverage for a criminal? <sighs> All right, but let me just go ahead and play another one since I'm sitting here braiding up this here. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So this is part two. Okay, this is part two. So that was part one. This is part two. The one I did earlier was part five because I just wanted y'all to hear that part. So this is part two. Again, shout out to uh, phone calls from prison. I left her a message for her to give me her cash app so I can donate to her channel. Uh, all these videos are on her channel. So be sure to go over to, to phone calls from prison uh leave a message and show her some love and support okay all right don't you mind uh, okay that shit is so goddamn pretty that shit is ridiculous thank you for allowing me to be the first motherfucking <laughs> test done for the motherfucker thank you so very much you're welcome you're welcome, <laughs> you're welcome. I'm back with some crazy new information about Shirley Strawberry and her husband, Ernesto. If you're unfamiliar with them, please go watch my first video that I dropped about two weeks ago. I do quickly want to apologize for my voice sounding like this. I'm just getting over about laryngitis. Also, want to give a shout out to fellow YouTubers, Love Lies and Lace Fronts. Without her recommendation, these videos would not exist. Go check out her channel and please give her a sub. Okay, so I just got a huge drop of calls from September 2022 until the end of February 2023. I'm in the process of listening to all of them now, but I wanted to share the first call between Shirley Strawberry and Ernesto and a call between Ernesto and that woman in Florida. Shirley and him speak about his new charges and how Shirley's daughter Sheridan supposedly caused these new charges by talking to the cops. Shirley even says her daughter is in the wrong and was by the cops. This call was made September 30th wow. of last year, about 10 days after he was transferred to a new jail. Hello? Hello, sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just better. This is a way better jail. Not going to lie to you. That's why I fuck with the crackers. They more uh -huh. organized. And uh, yeah, this is way better. I could go outside by myself and I can uh, escape. Did y'all hear what he said? This is a way nicer jail. Now, you know, you know he's a jailbird when he can say this is a na nice jail and you know heard what he said about the the C R A C K E R S. Did y'all hear it? I'm gonna re I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make it normal. Normal and play. No, but I can least okay by the cops. This call was made September 30th of last year, about 10 days after he was transferred to a new jail. Hello? Hello, sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is better. This is a way better jail. Not going to lie to you. That's why I fuck with the crackers. They more uh -huh. organized. And, uh, yeah. You hear what he said? That's why I'm mm -mm to the crackers. They're more organized. This is a nice jail. Now, who would say something like that, that being a nice jail? You know it has to be a career criminal to talk about what nice, how nice the jail is. Girl, it's scandalous. It's scandalous. Okay, but anyways, let's go ahead and listen, child. I'm braiding up my hair while I'm listening to the scandalousness stuff, child. Mm, mm. And I'm hungry, girl. Oh, I'm so hungry. I gotta eat something. This is way better. I could go outside by myself and I can, uh, it's caged up, but I can at least see the sun. It's pretty outside. I ain't seen sun in yeah. three months. I know. You told me that. That's crazy. Sheridan yeah. went down. Sheridan what? She went down there. For what? To talk to him. I don't know what she said. I don't know. I don't know. Wow. He did go down. Yeah. I didn't what want to tell you. I don't know. I don't That's know. That's what I'm trying to Sheridan talk is her daughter. Well, I'm just telling you what happened. She went and down there. Listen, listen, listen. That's all I know. We'll talk about it when we get out. Wow. Yeah. We'll talk about it when you get out. But, yeah. That did happen, and um, uh, it was about a month or so ago she went down there. That's why they put the charge down there. That's why they put the extra charge down there. When the sheriff was down there. Yeah, it was about a month ago. That's why they put the charge, the extra charges on my ass. Some she done said stupid that she don't even know what she's talking about. 
Yep. Wow. I didn't. She didn't tell me she was going. She just went. Yeah. What kind of fucking shit is that? All right. Damn. Okay. 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 No one deserves to be so, paid, ever. I'm there. So Sheridan is the daughter, and the daughter has accused him of, you know, what in her. And apparently, Shirley knew about it and did nothing. So Sheridan went down the to the police, and uh, that's why, if you remember, the first jail had the first the court hearing was he had to stay away from children, and her name, the daughter's name, was named. And he had to stay away from from kids because allegedly, you know, he abused her. You know what I mean? And, you know, mm -hmm. so she, she surely is throwing the daughter under the bus for, for her criminal, criminal hoes. Isn't it shameful? Girl is terrible. It's terrible. Okay, we let her get her commercial. We're getting, um jailhouse call get her commercials because that's how people that's how fyi y'all that's how we get two dollars and fifty cents from youtube to go buy our ice cream okay i put mine in little michael's college fund fyi so let the commercials play okay <laughs> hey listen I want to go. that's why they put the charge the extra charges on my ass some she done said stupid that she don't even know what she's talking about Yep. Wow. I didn't. She didn't tell me she was going. She just went. Yeah. What kind of fucking shit is that? Wow. All right. Damn. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay then. That, I, don't, I wasn't trying to ruin. Hey, listen. I wasn't trying to ruin your day, honey. Okay. Wow. I wasn't trying to ruin your day. Wow. <laughs> that girl hate me so fucking bad. That bad. Okay, wow. don't let it ruin your day, okay? Please don't. Wow, okay, all right, then. All right, listen, um, yeah. So, I, you know, <clears throat> he, he knew it, so at least you got moved. At least it's 90 days you're getting out. You know, you deal with that when you get out or whatever. We'll deal with that when we get out. I'll put it like that. Wow. And you ain't talked yeah. to us since then. Um, no, she. I don't know if she knows I know. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. I, and I don't know what she said, but she was scared. You know, they kept, she was scared or whatever and nosy and she wanted to know because she kept, they kept telling her, you know, they have, um, uh, her name is on some documents. Just oh, like man. they told me. Right. Wait, listen, honey, listen, just like they told me and you know, she was upset about um, all of that. And it's like, of course, your name is going to be on some stuff. You lived at our house. Your kids lived at our house. So anyway, she went down there. I don't know what she said. I don't know what was asked of her, but she doesn't understand that they were trying to trick her. She doesn't get that part of it. She just wanted to know what it was. And she was scared because I guess they kept calling her, you know. And I asked them not to call her, but they called her because I stopped answering their calls. But then they called her and scared her, and she went down there. Wow. Because there's no telling what they said to her to get her down there, you know. I mean, because I just thought, you know, they just used some trickery, and she fell for it and went down there. Wow. Because she <laughs> stopped saying wow. I mean, I'm just, that's all I can say. I mean, it, 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 it. I know. But what I'm saying that to say that, just put that up until you get out, okay? And then we'll deal with that, okay? Don't let it, don't marinate on that. Don't fixate on that. Wow. It okay. is what it is. It is what it is. It happened about a month ago. And, you know, you know, people think just because you get arrested that you're guilty. They don't even consider that. <laughs> You know, I have. I mean, I'm I have, serious. Yeah, I have. Huh? Well, it's really charged. He's not guilty. Been officially a charge. Officially charged. I know, no. but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you know, people think just because you you're arrested, you're guilty. Wow. So, yeah. 
Yeah, that's what the deal is with that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's it. Hey. I know that. I know. Maybe I shouldn't have told you. I would have found out anyway because the state. I know you would out. have. I know you would have. I just told you because we were talking about that. You yeah, know. That's that's why. And that's I thought they, about it. Yeah, that's why they dropped the charges and came back with different shit. That's why, because they had a name well, on, the, on the on the document on the uh, on the warrant. And the she and the name was on the warrant. Like they, she she was supposed to be somewhere, somebody, but she didn't know nothing about what nothing. We just used that to try to find what I had going on. I had shit going on. It, it, it's just amazing, but it's okay. It's all right. I know, but yeah, I, I'm sorry I had to tell you that, but it's. It, I, I thought that was just horrible. She doesn't understand what she's doing, but yeah, the hatred runs deep. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't heard from her since about two weeks. You know, what if I, what if I were and she this? keeps the kids from me. You know, she keeps the kids from me. So, well, what, what I guess she's I, upset. Huh? What if I told? Uh, what if I one of the more hateful ass that's that's in here now? That's no good and say, hey, you my wife. You don't need to pay your your daughter nothing. Kick her ass. Out. What if I one of the mean motherfuckers like that? Oh, I know. Wow. I know. Wow. Did y'all hear what he said? What if? He told Shirley, Shirley is the wife, and he told her not to pay nothing or give her no money, her own daughter. Can you imagine? (laughs) Girl, it's scandalous, I'm trying to tell you. But listen, ladies, use this as learning. There is not that much, that much thirsty in the whole wide world your kitty is not is not itching that much it can't be at at damn dear 60 shirley your kitty is is itching that much for this criminal girl it's terrible 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 but let let this be a lesson ladies okay she back hold on we gotta let jailhouse call and get her commercials so she could uh, get her coins. Isn't it terrible? It's no good and say, hey, you my wife. You don't need to pay your, your daughter nothing. Kick her ass. Out. What if I want one of the mean motherfuckers like that? Oh, I know. I know. You see what I'm saying? Know. She'll be on the street right now. If I was so in dirty. other words, he's saying, what if he had told Shirley, his wife, for her to kick her daughter out? Mind you, Shirley's the one paying all the bills because he's a bum. He's stealing from people, fake businesses, to try to make some money. I hope y'all paying attention. Mm-hmm. Drunk motherfucker, just smoking weed and drinking all day, uh, fighting a wife, and I ain't doing all that shit. You ain't doing it. Right, and I wouldn't either. be married to you, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> if you did I'm all that. Saying, I mean, you know, folks being in love with who they be in love with, but I ain't doing that shit. That's crazy. Yeah. Shirley said she wouldn't have married him if he was drinking and beating the wife. But you married a criminal. Make it make sense, Shirley. You wouldn't marry him if he was drinking, but you marry a career criminal? Girl, I'm trying not to talk through this, but Shirley be saying some dumb stuff, y'all. I know. Well, I, you know, I will say this. It was wrong. She shouldn't have done it. I don't know. Somebody was in her ear. You know, wow. I think someone was in her ear telling her because she can't keep anything. Wow. So she was probably scared. I think, you know, I don't know, but she may have called a bunch of people and asked them what should she do because she was really scared. She was very scared. She was she she was um, upset, you know, and she you don't tell me what's going on, but I don't have to about my marriage. I just think she was nosy. She wanted to know what was going on. And she was like, he had my kids' names. My kids' names were on some documents. No, so, I didn't. You know. what, what, no, she lied. Well, that's what the police... No, 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 no. Listen. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on now. You're doing too much. Wow. Okay? Okay, You're okay. doing too much. That's what the cops told her. They told me the same thing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. But that's their tactics. You know, they will scare you because they want you to come in. They want to see if they can get anything. And, and that didn't work. I kept saying if they had anything, 
They would arrest you. If they had something, they would come and get you. Don't worry. You ain't got to go to them. <laughs> wow. It's okay. Wow. Yeah. Man, that motherfucking cold-blooded woman, I mean, you playing with your fucking kids like that. I know, I know, I know. I'm the one who's telling you, I'm the one who's telling you. I know, baby, I know, I know, I know, I know. She, in her head, something's off in her head, you know, and like wow. I said, I believe someone had her ear. I believe someone had her ear. Wow. And, you know, when you get out, we'll get the full story, but I, I believe someone had her ear and was talking to her because, um... Uh, yeah, and, and you know, you better go on down there. Well, just go on down there and clear it up or, you know, whatever, but whatever. It, but but it's uh-huh. it, it, so stupid. It's just going down to clear and if something happens, who's going to get her the fuck out? Them exactly, exactly. She doesn't get that part. She doesn't get that part. But, wow. but you know, people when people hear cops, you know, they get scared. And, you know, I, I'll admit it wasn't the most comfortable situation for me. You know, especially given my status and all of that, but I'm still not going down there. And if I did, you know, a, a wife can't really testify against her husband, like, well, in court anyway. Well, but it's like, no. But I ain't going to put you in no harm way like that. I know. I know. I know you're not. And I know you're not even. But listen to the dumb dumb. I'm not going to put you in no harm ways. Surely you married a criminal. You chose the harm way you trolls that and he's sitting up in jail talking about i'm not gonna put you in no harm sir stop it listen to the rest of this y'all this is the foolish is surely talking about stupid to put yourself in that kind of a position i know Man. that too this, this, i know this. that too but yeah well it's okay but uh it's okay yeah it is what it is it is what it is god is working it out you know, and that's what I want you to stay focused on. When you get out, you know, we'll talk about all this stuff. But, you know, I just want, I don't want it to be about her. I know what she did was wrong, and we'll deal with that. But let's concentrate on the fact that even through all that, God is still working. You know, yeah, that's where no our focus no, has no, to be on the positive. No, yeah, but I ain't no focus on that because uh, I ain't no focus on that because they're going to have to apologize, and, and, and I ain't even looking for it. Sometimes you can, yeah. you know how I many people in here, false imprisonment? Oh, my. Oh, I'm yeah, real. especially black people. I know. I know. Wow. I know that. I've been in here I've been in here 90 days. I probably went to my first, my second appearance in two weeks. I'm already uh, two months and a half, three months past my second appearance. For real. That's okay because yeah, it's gonna work out. It's everything's gonna work out. All things work together for the good of those who yeah. love the Lord and are called to His purpose. Okay. And yeah. let me stop this. This is one of the most misinterpreted scriptures in the Bible. Everything happened. Here we go. Oh, all things work for the good of those who love God. And to those who are the called according to his purpose. So, Shirley, how is your husband? Um, let me try to use the right word. Violating your daughter. How is that working for her good? Please tell me. How is your dirty criminal, dusty, thirsty, rapist of a husband, allegedly, how is that working out for your daughter and your grandkids, Shirley? I just want to know. How is your criminal husband in prison messing up your good name, Shirley? How is that working out for your good? It's a lie. That is not what that scripture means. And people be misquoting it and they just drive me up the walls. People misquoting that scripture. But anyways, girl, you got to come to Bible study to learn what that means. Yeah, all things good. work together for the good. Yeah. yeah it's, it's all good. good. Mm-hmm. People think they know, but they don't even know. Wow. So it's all right. Well, they better come on with it then, because I, I, I got God on my side, and he ain't let me down yet. So You're so loud. God is not on your right. side. You're we criminal. Good. Yeah, That's yeah we are. That yeah. is fine. All right, honey. Um, Well, I'm glad you're in a better place. Like no, I said, God is working it out. Can. I'm glad you're in a better place. Yeah. So it's just a matter of time now. Yeah, that's can Degree Advance pass the great t-shirt challenge? He Let's in see. jail. How are he in a better place? Can somebody tell me? 
How is the criminal in a better place when the criminal is in jail? Let's let her get her commercial. Mar gets any sweat marks. Seven How is the criminal in jail in a better place? He's in jail. <laughs> I tell you, these delusional thirsty behind woman, child. Let me tell you, I don't need anything on me itching that bad to be getting with a criminal. You know what I want to say, but I ain't going to say it because I don't want you to think I'm encouraging you to do stuff. But I'm just saying, girl, if the kitty is itching that bad and you need to go get you a scratch. Mm, 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 mm. This is terrible, but I, the younger ladies, every woman that's listening to this, let me tell you, this is what could happen to you if you don't choose wisely, honey. My husband profile, you need to sign up for it because if you choose a criminal, this is what's going to happen. You choose a criminal. So stop choosing criminal. The man you choose will determine the rest of your life. I keep telling y'all that. Stop with the bombs. Stop with the bombs. Okay, sh commercial's done. I try to let people, when I'm doing their videos, make sure they get their commercials because that's how they get their little coins. I got another week. Uh, like I said, just, just cool out until uh, the 90 days, see what's going to happen. You, uh, they don't wanna, you ain't been indicted yet, so just hold tight and you'll be just fine. Okay. So that's All right. I'm well, on. I mean, yeah, we're on God's timing. We're on yeah. his <laughs> program. <That's laughs> Period. It, that's it. You're right. Okay, love. Mm -hmm. I love you. Uh, I call you tomorrow. It rain. All right, my love. Okay, thank love you. you. Wow. Love you. Bye. Bye. I wanted to share this next call to shed some light onto the rumor of Ernesto having a side chick in Florida. This call is from September 29th, a day before the last call you just heard. Ernesto asks for pics of this woman, calls her very pretty, and as you heard in the first clip, he claims to be the first one to touch her new set. If you know what I mean. Wow. I can hear you. You can or can't? Oh, now I can. I was like, what you Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I hear you now. Mm -hmm. uh, the communication with you is less harder because I can't email. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I got to figure fine. it out. But, I, but you can actually get mail there. Oh, I can? Yeah, wow. you can get mail there. This is the I can send email. Uh -huh. Pictures and all that too? Oh. Yeah, there's no Polaroid. Okay, well, I'm good with that then. Send me, send me the same ones you sent me in. I'm good with that. Wow. That's my favorite one. Is that your favorite one? Yeah, Ooh. the one you sent in the bed, one picture in your bed. I love okay. It. My stocking picture. <laughs> yeah. Got you touched too, because I was wondering if you had one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I like all of them. Wow. But them pictures are more important to me than they got them commissary because they feed you good. Yeah. Right. Oh, good. They feed you good, good okay. portions. Shower better. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you um liking it over there better, that it's a better facility. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I will say this here. I showed me and myself some good ass pussy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Can't wait. Get that motherfucker primed up, girl. Yeah. Get, get that muscle right. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, get that muscle right. I'll be doing my exercises, my stretches. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'll come over here. At least I can get the pictures to my hand of you. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's, that, I'm excited about that part. So, yeah. I got to get me some stamps so I can write you back. So I got plenty of time to do that here. I'm trying to now, but I like, I'm glad I went through what I went through. So the communication with, I can, I, I enjoy the communication with me and you every day. Mm -hmm. every day. Right. I like that they could have passed my time with, because if I'm up all night, I can read your letters all night. Mm -hmm. yeah, then I can take time to respond back. Oh, I miss it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss that part now, because that's my time. <laughs> they make my time go by so quick like that. So I'm in the picture there, Lois. I, I, I don't know. I'll send as many as I can. But well, I don't know. You, well, yeah. You only need five. I mean, that's all you need, five. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Yeah. We don't we, we don't have any together, so, you know. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to have plenty together. Don't you worry about that shit. That, don't mm -hmm. you worry about that. All, all that mm -hmm. shit. 
I already know that shit coming. I'm not worrying about that. Mm. I just tell you, I appreciate you for uh, everything. I really appreciate you. You ain't have no clue. This is a man dream, for real. For real? Yeah, yeah no, for real. Wow. The picture you see me, I love that one you're in the bed, actually. But you took two on one, are good, but one is the best. I will send you that one, and the one with the tank top. I love <clears> that one. Uh, <laughs> I like the one with the glasses with the short hair. I like that one, too. Okay. I like it. I like the one with the big braids. I love that one too. Oh, the braids! Wow. Yeah, I love that one too. That boy, that shit. You're a pretty motherfucking woman now. You're very pretty. You just unique. Got a unique style. You're just unique though. You've known me for what almost two years. Yeah, but but don't don't play with me. Wow. <laughs> That's you. That, yeah, that, you know what this it is. Your first, this is your first time seeing me. No, I, I mean, I understand when you be like, man, look at me, it's something, just move out your way. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I understand because you got that same goddamn aura about yourself. So I get, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm just looking at you as a female, that's all. That's, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because you're a threat. Motherfucker want to be your side. Them titties so goddamn pretty. That shit is ridiculous. Thank you for allowing me to be the first motherfucking to touch them pretty motherfuckers out. Thank you so very much. That's you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Hey, for real. I, and, I, and I like the fact you appreciate them. Yeah, I do. Money yeah, well spent. Yeah, yeah, I do. I appreciate Money well spent. Yeah, <laughs> sure do. Okay, love. Okay. 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 I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, love you, that sweetheart. Thank you so very much. Give me the game <laughs> and stay out of the way. I see, I see. Wow. When, that, when that thing get hot, just pat it. That's all you got to do. <laughs> I took that one now. Thank you. I saw that. <laughs> if that thing get hot, hot, just pat it. Whoa. Wow. This is scandalous. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus. In your text, I saw that. Right. Yeah, I saw. I got to take a shower. I got to take a good shower. Uh, I got to take a shower. You to it. I can't get to it. Oh, that's all right. You're going to be just fine. Just keep working on jobs. Keep being. Thank you for using Global Telling. Just a note, after Ernesto got transferred, the first two calls he made were to the woman in Florida. Over the course of these dates from September to February, he called that woman 92 times and talked for a total of roughly 32 hours. He called his wife Shirley 57 times and talked for a total of roughly 20 hours. I'm working on the rest of the calls now. There's almost 200 of them, so bear with me. But until then, here's a sneak peek into the next video. Well, what you been doing? Well, um, Ty called me today. Ty, the jewelry lady. Yeah. Um, somebody called her to say that the um the cashier's check that you wrote to get my ring. What? It, are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. The ca- okay, the cashier's check that you wrote to get my ring over a year and so ago, that was written off her account. And you stole $250,000 from her. Do you think Ernesto has Shirley fooled? Do you think the woman in the second call is his side chick? Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Wow, y'all. Wow. Talk about scandalous. Ooh, girl, I can't wait to get to the next video. Girl, this is messy. So wait a minute. You in 20 and the 21st. This is the 21st century. In 20 and something year, you're using a cashier's check. You don't have a debit card. You don't have a card to use to get the ring. Oh, Arnastio. <laughs> Girl, this is scandalous. I can't wait to get to the next video. I'm sitting here braiding my hair and I'm about to Listen to this next video, girl. So I'm going to have it for you in a minute. <laughs> girl, he told that lady, he told the girlfriend in Florida, if that thing get hot, just pat it. Woo, child, pat it like a baby. <laughs> girl, why I didn't think about this when I was single? <laughs> Woo, child. 
Lord have mercy. But anyways, y'all, tell me what y'all think about all this ghetto-ness, child. I'm going to have come on back for uh, the other part, girl. I'm going to try to do all these tastes today while I sit here and, 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 and braid up this here. All right. I love y'all. Thank you. Bye.